Hi there, Ashley from Numisma here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can mark sales invoices and supplier bills as paid within your Numisma account. So when you're in your bookkeeping profile, for sales invoices, you can go to the sales section. And there are many ways to do this, but the method I'll be showing you today is the simplest. So when you're on the sales page and you have some sales invoices that are outstanding, we can select the three dots and then we can select receive a payment. Upon selecting receive a payment, it comes up with this pop-up where you can enter the amount paid if you only receive the partial amount. You can enter the date it was paid as well as where it was paid to. So if you received it into a bank account, great, you can select your bank account. You can select it as card takings. If it was, um, if, if you're a shop and you've received it via a card, it hasn't gone into your bank yet, you just want to mark it as paid, you can do so. You can do the same with cash and check. And then finally, you can mark it as received by the director personally if you wanted to. So in this scenario, I'm just going to select the bank account. And then we can enter a description. I'm not going to do that, but I can click save now. Upon clicking save, Namisma loads, the transaction has been reconciled, and the amount due is now zero. So that is the sales invoice marking being marked as paid. Now, if I go to banking and then go into the next year, because I entered it as the 17th of January, you'll notice 60 pounds has been allocated against the bank account as being received, but there's no description. So you may want to add to a description just so that you can see exactly what it is that's being paid. Okay, so moving on to expenditure, if we go to expenditure on the left menu and go back to the previous year because I haven't got any expenses in the current, I can come here and I can then select the three dots again and select make a payment this time. So upon selecting make a payment, I can enter the amount, date paid, where it was paid from, and then I can enter the description. So let's say, uh, what invoice was this? It was Namisma test. So make a payment, the Misma test, save that. Now the transaction has been reconciled successfully. The amount due is now zero. And if I go to banking, the amount has been taken out of the bank account. So together, the reconciled balance is now minus 540 pounds, but you can see the amount received is 60, the amount spent is 600. And we've got the Namisma test description this time. So that is how you can mark sales invoices and supply bills as paid within the MISMA, as easy as that. If you, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with our support team on 020-3021-2326 or via email on support at numisma.co.uk. Thank you, bye.